So what are the pattern that you can find in uh, time series data? So depending on the frequency of the data, so it, which could be hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. Sometimes your time series data could look like this. Sometime it could look like this. Okay. Sometime it could be straight line. Sometime very random. Something like that. Completely random. So this is totally constant. We cannot do anything about it. This is very, you know, cyclical. That means there is a clear pattern. But you know, it's very predictable. You you actually don't need a sophisticated time series model for all these things. This is very predictable series. This is, as this is somewhat a difficult to predict. So probably this is one series where you need time series model. And this one, which is completely random. You know, when the series is completely random, you cannot actually predict anything. I mean, you cannot you cannot predict anything. So you you probably have a downward sloping you know time series data. Uh, you know we are we are using uh, the GDP data for one of the state in India. So this is a downward sloping from 1961 to 2001. So you can say downward sloping data for GDP. And you know there will be uh, an upward sloping data. So this is the typical example of an upward sloping data. It could be a mix of both uh, upward sloping and downward sloping. That could also be there, right? So this is a typical case where you know initially there was a downward slope. And then there is an upward slope, right? So this could also be, uh, you know, one of the. Uh, so th these are different scenarios or different types of time series that you probably will come across in real time scenarios. There are different components to time series data. Okay, so there are different components, uh, and it can be broadly cat classified into trend, uh, seasonal, cyclical, and uh, the random components. So what is a trend? We say trend. You know what comes to my mind is that either it's upward trend or it's downward trend. So if you use the definition, it's just a long-term pattern, right? It's just a long-term pattern in the data. Either it's upward, downward, or you know a mix of both upward, downward. So that's we call it as trend. And then we call it seasonal pattern. Is nothing but uh, something that appears in regular interval, wherein the frequency of the occurrences is within a year or even shorter. Uh, for example, quarterly GDPs uh, or maybe sales. So seasonal could be if you use sales data. So every December, right? Every December there is a peak because December is the uh, holiday season, right? So you will see that sales data for most consumer companies uh, or e-commerce companies in the month of festivals is actually uh, at, at at a very uh, high level or it, there is a peak at this month. So we call that seasonal data. That means it happens only in a particular season, and it should repeat within a year or less. If it is happening over a more than two years, uh, one year, it's not. Uh, I mean, by definition, it's not seasonal, right? We'll 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 see what what uh, what that uh, case means. So next one is cyclical, right? Uh, this is also a repeated pattern, but this could go beyond one year, right? So this is one. The pattern could be more than one year. So typical examples could be, you know, the budget, right? The budget doesn't happen uh, on a particular month of a year uh, in, in every country, you know. It, it uh, could actually change. There could be a random budget as well, best if the government really uh, changes within a year. So there is no particular time period, but you can see that um, because of some economics uh, scenario or, or inflation, or recession something like that or some monetary policy uh, you see some sort of uh, some sort of wave like pattern cycles are not regular that means you don't see it at a very regular uh, interval of time it, it's also related to cases where you know it happens with a number of other cases like you know economic recession inflation you know some monetary policy changes in the country and so on so some factor really affects this so it's not just because of some like festivals or something. Festivals are, you know, uh, already pre-decided, right? But budgets are not. Budget could happen, or budget decision of coming up a new budget is actually uh, random, right? Government decides when it's going to come up with a budget. So that's slightly come. And the last pattern is the random, and this is the easiest to understand. So random is like, you know, anything that cannot be 
cannot have uh, a particular pattern. So the idea behind univariate time series is that uh, to use the past values, past values of the series data to forecast future, right? So what could what are the variables of interest? It could be stock price, it could be GDP, it could be sales, and so on. You can use it for you know variety of purposes. You know whether you are working in a company, you are working in a bank, uh, you know anywhere where you have time series data available, you can use this. And so some of the uh, important uses of time series forecasting is uh, forecasting inflation. So most uh, central banks used uh, ARIMA forecasting or time series forecasting for uh, forecasting inflation rate, unemployment rate, and so on or even exchange rate uh, and so on uh, and then companies also use for sales forecasting uh, finance company could use for uh, interest rate forecasting and so on 